Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online, directly from the Red Couch, to answer a question that I received from Andy, who is asking, Hi Chris, batch export is unfortunately only available in Cubase Pro. Do you know if there's a workaround for Cubase artists? I'm wanting to send my stems to a mix engineer. Is it possible to render each file individually and send them to the same folder to be zipped? Yes, there's a workaround if you're using Cubase Artist, and this is what I'm gonna show you today right after the intro. All right, now before we jump in Cubase, if you're new here on the channel, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And for all of you, you know the drill, share and like. So now let's jump in Cubase. Uh, I'm actually working in Cubase Artist for this one. Uh, okay, now uh, the problem that we have, since we don't have access to a batch export feature in Cubase Artist, we're gonna have to use the bounce selection feature. And I'm gonna show you how I proceed to do so. Um, actually, this is something that I do most of the time when I wanna send a mix to another engineer for him to mix or for, for me to mix in a new session, which is usually the case. Um, so what I do, I just bounce all of my tracks using the bounce selection feature and then I just import that back into a new session, that simple. So first, what we need to do is to make sure that all of our tracks are named accordingly, okay, to what's recorded on the track. Because when we're gonna bounce our file, it is gonna name the new file as it is on the track. So that's why it's very important to name the track uh, correctly. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up my project right away, okay? And you're gonna understand why later on. So I'm gonna click on File, click on Backup Project, which is a very cool feature in Cubase. Um, let's go on the desktop. I'm gonna just create a folder. I'm gonna call it Mix. And uh, there you go, Select Folder. I'm gonna call this one Mix 1 remove unused files. I'm gonna leave that one checked on and I'm just gonna click on OK. So Cubase will copy all the files that you see here on the project window on top of what, uh, of what has been recorded so far on this project. So everything within the pool is gonna be copied over to the new location. Okay, now I have my new project open, my backup project, and I'm gonna work on this project. Now, as we can see here on top, our file is mix one, our project file is mix one, so I'm working on the backup project. Um, and this is what I wanna do. Okay, now what I need to, um, to check for is to make sure I don't have any track versions going on on this recording. And I actually uh, have a few tracks that has uh, several track versions, um, like all of the drums here. So I'm gonna select uh, my drum tracks and I'm just gonna delete the versions I don't need. All right, what else do I have? Okay, the bass, uh, the bass track also has a, um, a track version that I don't need. All right, now we're good. Okay, next I have to make sure that all of my crossfades, all of the edit done on this recording, on this session uh, is well done that I don't end up with some glitches and so on because everything is gonna be consolidated into new audio files. Okay, so I have to make sure that all the crossfades are okay. On my side, I know that everything is okay, so I'm good to move forward. Um, now, you need to understand that when I'm gonna consolidate everything or bounce all those events into new files, um, all of the edits, okay, like uh, crossfades, uh, very audio, um, audio warp, or direct offline processing, um, everything is gonna be consolidated at the same time because I am bouncing the events into new uh, new events, basically. But everything that comes after will not be bounced, okay? Like EQ uh, or any kinds of insert effects or send effects, um, fader levels, 
panning and so on, those features are not part of the actual event. They come after, okay? So they're not gonna be bounced with the selection, okay? So you have to put that into consideration. But this is exactly what we wanna do because the goal here is to be able to send those files to a mix engineer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is to make sure that all of the events um, have the same starting point, okay? And for this to happen, I'm gonna record a few seconds at the beginning of my project. So I'm just gonna bring my, uh, my playhead to the beginning of the project, select all of the tracks, and make sure, um, let me just click on the quick link and just click on record enable. So this way it is gonna record enable all the tracks within my project. And I'm just gonna record simply just a few seconds of empty um, empty audio basically uh, so this is going to bring up a blank event um, and you know what I'm just going to clean those up because I don't need those events since um, since those tracks were already starting at the beginning of my session now I'm ready to bounce I'm going to select all and then I'm just going to go on uh, audio and go down to bounce selection. And I clicked on replace audio so you can see all the new events that Cubase has created. Now we are ready to send those audio files to a mix engineer. So we can just go directly to the folder um, and zip those files and send them away. But first we need to empty the pool because we did a lot of recording, okay? And this is uh, a backup session out of my original session. So the pool um, has a bunch of other files other than what we see here in the project window. So we need to, um, to clear that up. So I'm gonna open the pool by clicking on Command or Control P and that will open the pool. Um, and the pool um, actually shows me all the, uh, the audio um, that has been recorded on this project. So I'm gonna right click on audio, go down to, um, to uh, remove unused media, click on trash and then I'm gonna empty the trash. And this is destructive, so that's why I backed up my project in the first place, because uh, this is gonna delete all the files out of your uh, hard drive. So I'm gonna click on empty trash. Now the only thing left in the pool are the files that we see in the project window. Now I can simply go uh, directly on my new projects folder and click on the audio folder and there you go all of my tracks are there so i can just uh, select them all and zip them and send them over to a mix engineer or you can just use those tracks for yourself to import into a brand new mix template of yours to be able to mix your songs now note that this will not work with midi files we're talking only about audio events okay so if you have some midi tracks that you want to bounce you're just going to have to render in place or just use the regular exports to bounce back into your project as far as midi goes but uh, everything audio related is going to work so this is a very good alternative if you want to batch export your tracks and you don't have a cubase pro you can just bounce your events into new files and there you go. Um, now, if you wanna know more about batch export, if you have Cubase Pro, I made a video on that um, a year ago, I think. So I'm gonna leave the link on top and in the description down below. Uh, so there you go. So I hope that helps. If so, share and like this video. And if you're new here on the channel, again, feel free to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. All right, my friend, I'm gonna wish you a good day and I'm gonna see you soon.